All right then, everybody, what's up? We're back, single out, uh, week four, or yeah, four. Um, and this should be a fun one as we are talking about mid-sized trucks. And the mid-sized trucks go as follows. Today, obviously, uh, Chevy Colorado, and we'll dabble a little bit, a little bit about the ZR2 and everything. Um, and then tomorrow we're doing it's more uh, direct competitor, which is the Toyota Tacoma, which some people might be saying, but what about the Ford Ranger? That's an American-made kind of truck that sits in, in the same class and has the Raptor version and blah, blah, blah. Well, the Ranger Raptor and all that stuff isn't sold in the US, so I'd like to do a direct competitor that we can get here. Um, so, uh, we're gonna go Tacoma and it's TRD edition. And then, then we'll do the Raptor, and then <laughs> we'll do the Honda Ridge Line, and we'll round up this week with something real good, the fucking Nissan Frontier. A real gem right there. So, I mean, even the Tundra's starting to become a good truck, but they just can't quite put that kind of specialness into the Frontier. Anyways, back to the Colorado. Uh, Colorado nut. It is pretty old, but it's next. It's newest life cycle started in 2014 of this new body and everything, and actually it's been kind of updated again for like 18 and stuff like that in the ZR2. Uh, good looking truck, I like it. Uh, solid looking little truck. Now, when I, if I ever wanted a mid-sized truck, to be honest, I would want it to be short cab, or sorry, short bed, single cab. And now some of you may be like, why the hell would you want that? Because if I'm getting a small truck, I don't want it to be a full-size truck. Because a full-size, full cab, and big bed and everything, mid-size truck is, for a Colorado, I believe is two or three inches shorter than a Silverado. Which, if you didn't know, is not a lot. The bed is a bit smaller on them, of course. It's a bit less wide, but... It's just about the same size truck. I want, if I was to get one, I would want something smaller. But anyways, and some facts or some numbers are, it's got three engine options, and they start out making, for gasoline, starts at 200 horsepower and then a 306 horsepower model. Now, Chevy claims best in its class horsepower, but we will see as we get throughout the week if that is true or not. But 306 horsepower is that's pretty good like that's that's just solid for a truck it does weigh 4,000 pounds or up to maybe 4,700,000 pounds depending on how everything is specced out but nobody can complain with that kind of power that's really good and for that kind of vehicle uh since most mid-sized trucks all have little four cylinders or they have six cylinders but usually like 250 horsepower so you know good on Chevy a uh, nice, nice strong V6. And then their other option, which is I guess their fun one, is their little baby Duramax engine for the ZR2. Which I think you can, if you can somehow get someone to like special order one for you, get it in the other trucks. But otherwise it seems to only be in the ZR2. I'm not sure if it's specific for it, but we'll see. Uh, I might have to do some more research, more research on that. So, uh, it has a 2.5 liter uh, diesel four cylinder. And it only makes 186 horsepower, but 365 torque. Which, when we're talking diesel, that's all that matters. I mean, if you look at something like a 2500 Ram with a Cummins in it, that makes 300 horsepower. Same as that V6 that we talked about earlier. But it makes 900 torque. Torque is, I mean, for a truck that's all that's necessary, that's what you need to pull. So if you want a small truck, but everyone's probably need to pull a trailer, ZR2 all the way, or at least the diesel option. Uh, you're guaranteed to be good then. And then, uh, one of my favorite facts that I found out just last night is that if you go customize a, Colorado and uh, not many people really ever try or anything but 
uh, if you become like good friends with the dealership and everything, maybe you bought a couple cars through them, you can pretty much spec out a car exactly to your liking if you let them know and things like that. And if you do that, if you build a Colorado through uh, Chevrolet's website, you can get it with car care items. And those items are packages of Adams Polishes, uh, packages, kits, things like that. You can get a wash kit, you can get a protect kit, you can get all kinds of stuff, you can get wheel and trims and everything. And I just, I really like that. I like, I like that a, uh, <laughs> if one of my favorite brands, say one day I ever get a Corvette, I'm fucking getting an Adams kit with it just because I can, just because that would be the only stuff that I use on my Corvette. I think that's just great and fun. Yeah, they basically allow you to get a really good set of products to take care of your vehicles. That's nice. But these trucks really, they're not really about speed or anything. I guess midsize you could say they're more about speed, but really they're all about towing and things like that. And that's when you need a diesel and stuff. But midsize trucks are now starting to become, because of things like the Raptor that's really started all this, uh, starting to become real off-roader vehicles. So, been saying that ZR2 a while, for a while now. Uh, diesel motor, and uh, that'll really help it pull itself out of places. Four wheel drive, massive front skid plate, whole, whole redesigned front fascia basically because they got rid of the bottom bumper and put a huge skid plate underneath there for protection for your oil pan and all that kind of stuff. Uh, fender flares and things like that, it is a little bit higher and I can't remember if it does actually have bigger tires and wheels I don't know but I know it's about two inches higher just from the factory so there's your lift and things like that so it's got a lot of stuff going for it. the ZR1 and ZR2 are both really cool little trucks and so then it's nice for the interior it are things like it has standard uh, a little standard seven inch screen touch display which I mean, may not sound like much, but there are a lot of cars that still don't come with a standard size screen of some kind. I know Hyundai and things like that, you can buy uh, a base model vehicle without, oh, sorry, without things like that. Um, so it's nice that that comes standard just for ease, basically. Um, interiors on them are very nice, pretty spacious, even though they're, they are small trucks, but like I said, cabs and stuff, and for those are getting so big that they they're basically full size so all in all I like the ZR1 uh, ZR1 why, why did I see the ZR1 over there oh, Colorado I like the Colorado and the ZR2 model goodness Chevy and their Z's and their ZR's my bad uh, I like Colorado a lot it's a really cool little truck uh, my favorite out of the bunch and that's not only because you can buy Adam stuff with it um, but just on looks and things like that and the ZR2 model, there it's a, it's a really cool buy. And technically, you can get one for 20 grand. Now, you won't find one for 20 grand. I mean, no dealer is selling in Colorado for probably less than that 40 range. Go. Go, dude, go. Why? Why do you hate me? Um, so there's that. But, technically, if you get uh, a, a base model, which is just the single door, it does have like the, the half door that folds out and everything, so it still has two rows of seating, but they're a little bit smaller. Um, you can't, oh, what the fuck's going on, dude? Did someone make a mistake? No, we're good, I don't know. Uh, and if you get it with like things like plastic bumpers and stuff like that uh, and obviously no leather interior you can get one for 20, 21 grand you'll never find that ever, no one will ever no dealership will ever be silly enough to get something like that but maybe, maybe you get lucky and you know, like I said a lot of like the tech features and stuff are now just standard, so that's really nice you just get a nice infotainment system just ready to go for you so, I'm going to end it there. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and let us know any vehicles you want us to do in the future. And I will see you 
in the next episode.